drop and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> what were you looking for? I just need some bread. What, for drugs? <laughs> no, for toast. I can't find my tennis. What's going on here? Everything's under control, Mr. Morgan. Call the police. Oh, I see you've met my kid brother. But don't let that stop you. Go ahead, call the police. Jim Morgan, Millicent Torkelson. <gasps> Mr. Morgan, I am so sorry. Boy, that was a close call. She nearly absorbed me to death. <laughs> How could I have known? No, no, please, please. There's no need to apologize. Uh, listen, if it'll make you feel any better, go ahead and frisk me. I know it'll make me feel better. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I better call the police. <laughs> Uncle Jim, Gregory! <laughs> when did you hit town? Actually, I just flew up from L.A. this morning. I'm having lunch with the owner of the Seahawks. Ooh, are you a football player? No, he's way too old for that. <laughs> well, thank you, person who is many years older than I. Well, yes, but I have better hair. Well, I, not for long, man. <laughs> Uncle Jim is a big-time sports agent. Ah, uh, sports attorney. What's the difference? Five percent. <laughs> So what kind of wheels did you get this trip? Well, you know, the rental company didn't have the Carrera in, so I had to settle for a Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, God. Bless you. <laughs> hey, Gregory, where are you going? Cruising for chicks. You want to come? Do you have any idea how long I dreamed of this day? <laughs> and who is this gorgeous young lady? She's Mary Sue Torkelson. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> I can see where she gets her good looks. Well, thank you. Uncle Jim! Oh! <laughs> Would you bring me? Oh, Molly, you sentimental fool, you. I love them. Mm. What are they? They're hockey puck earrings. Now, listen, one word of advice. Don't take a nap on an ice rink. <laughs> like I would. A again. Yeah. Are we playing tennis or what? <laughs> I'm playing tennis. I don't know what you call what you do. I call it whipping your butt. I eh, want to bet. You're on. Loser pays for my rental car. You know, loser hands over the keys to his rental car. Loser washes my rental car. Yeah, loser buys me his rental car. <laughs> Can't you boys just play a friendly game where you don't keep score? It's mom! <laughs> Just when you think you've settled down And you feel like you're almost home Just when the wheel stops spinning round Love sneaks in with the plan of its own Love comes in unexpected places Life turns in unexpected ways I swear we laugh at these Millicent Torkelson, huh? <laughs> when you told me you had a new nanny, I expected a replay of all the others. You know, orthopedic shoes, orthopedic stockings, orthopedic girdle. I assume I never checked. I'm surprised, considering you usually jump anything with a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you date a few dozen stewardesses, and suddenly you got a reputation. <laughs> there it is. So, um... Tell me about uh, you and Millicent. You got anything going here? No, we do not have something going here. <laughs> she takes care of Molly and Gregory. Our relationship is strictly professional. So there's nothing between you? Absolutely not. Great. Then I can ask her out. No, you can't. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but you just said... I know what I said, but she's not your type. This woman has never pushed a beverage cart in her life. <laughs> Come on, give me a little credit. I have a wider range than that. Oh, excuse me. You also date Laker girls. <laughs> hey, pal. I'll have you know that the last woman I dated was very intelligent, mature, and had a leadership position in her organization. Head cheerleader? 
Look, Mrs. Torkelson is not like any woman you've ever dated before. She's not going to fall for your slick move. She'll see right through you. You want to bet? You, um, you call her Mrs. Torkelson? <laughs> Millicent, I want to ask you something. Gee, I don't think we have time for that now. We got a court reserved in ten minutes. This will only take a second. Molly and those stupid hockey puck earrings. Every time she turns her head, I get hit in the face. What idiot bought them for her? Dorothy Jane, I'd like you to meet Mr. Morgan's brother. The idiot. <laughs> but on the bright side, I have made five saves. <laughs> I'm sorry, you wanted to ask me something. Yeah, um... Do you know how to get to the Space Needle? Uh-huh. I took Mary Sue's class there on a field trip. You go up 99, but be sure to turn off Western before you get to the tunnel. Wait, I'll draw you a map. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I can't follow maps. No, you'll just have to come with me. And um, while we're out, we might as well have dinner. Are you asking Mama out? On a date? Oh, my gosh. Is that what I did? <laughs> oh, well, too late to back out now. Well, gee, when you put it that way, it's kind of hard to refuse. Is that a yes or a no? Um, well, I, I guess it's a... Don't look at me. You can go out with whomever you want. Don't look at me. You never let me go out with anybody. I guess I'm the only one left to look at, and golly, I think it's a great idea. Well, then, okay, I'd love to. Great. I'll pick you up at 7. I'll be ready. Okay, now that that's settled, can we go? If we don't leave now, we'll lose a court. What difference does it make if I beat you now or ten minutes from now? In your dreams. Oh, you know, Uncle Jim, we had the radio up, the windows down. We were going at least... 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Gregory, were you speeding? Me? Why, I can't believe you even suggest such a thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. Are you waiting up for it? Of course not. Are you? No. I'm just trying to get some work done, that's all. <laughs> Thank you. I guess we're both waiting up. Well, this is Mama's first real date since the divorce. I just wanted to wait and see if she had a good time. She seemed pretty excited while she was getting dressed. Excited about going out or excited about going out with Jim? Well, both, I guess. What exactly did she tell you about Jim? Oh, she said he was nice and handsome. I don't know if I go that far. She thought he looked a lot like you. I guess he is pretty good looking. <laughs> but you know how sometimes you can look at two people and know they belong together? Well, this morning after your brother asked Mama out, I tried to picture them as, you know, a couple, but I couldn't. Well, your mom hasn't been divorced all that long. It's probably too soon for you to be picturing her serious about anyone. No, I can picture her with Clint Black, Mel Gibson, Lou Perry. Okay, he was for me. <laughs> but really, when I do think of who I like to see Mama with, be a man who could love her and be there for her and for us. I'm sure she'll find him someday. I'm going to go try and get some sleep. Thanks for keeping me company. Good night, Mr. Morgan. Good night, darling. <laughs> well, so, then, I climbed up on a chair, I looked him straight in the chest, and I said, Okay, Kareem, you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> then, after they cut me down out of the basket... <laughs> 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 
Donna, you're making that part up. Well, yeah, but gee, don't I tell it, Grant? <laughs> so we're gonna pick up the kids. You know, I had a really nice time tonight, Millicent. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Gosh, except for the occasional PTA meeting or uh, an emergency milk run to the market, I don't get out much at night. I can't believe how beautiful the city is. Yeah, you know, there's something about a view like that that's very romantic. Well. Well. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mrs. Torkelson. How was your date? Gregory, that's none of your business. If Mrs. Torkelson wants to tell us about her date, she will, right, Mrs. Torkelson? Right. <laughs> and obviously she doesn't. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I had an absolutely lovely time with your brother. Thank you for asking. That wasn't me asking. That was Gregory. <laughs> tell me everything. Where'd you go? What'd you do? Do you like him? Out to dinner. Talked. Yes. <laughs> then we went for a drive in that car of his, the Linguini. <laughs> Lamborghini. Whatever. Then we took the elevator to the top of the Space Needle and just gazed out at the lights of Seattle. Oh, it was breathtaking. Then we came home and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? No. Well, yeah, you did, Dad. You said... <laughs> no, I didn't. I had a Cheerio stuck in my throat. <laughs> so what do you think, Mama? Are you gonna go out with him again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, sweetheart. He's only in town a couple of days. Can't remember the last time Jim had two dates in a row with the same woman. Morgan Residence. Oh, hi, Mr. Morgan. Was oh, that Jim? I'll take it. Yeah, she's right here. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Jim. Oh, me too. Tonight? Oh, well, I don't know. I have to check with Mr. Morgan. Well, he is my boss. Jim wants to take me to a Sonics game tonight. I was gonna go to that game with him. What? Oh. He says, get a life. <laughs> Look, if you want me to stay home with the kids, I mean, all you have to do is say so. Hey, it's your decision. So you're telling me to go? I'm not telling you anything. If you want to go, go. If you want to stay, stay. Take the night off. Do what you want. Fine, I will. I'll go. Fine, go. Fine. Hey, Jim, I'd love to. Great. Now, you want to speak to Mr. Morgan? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going, Dad? To the office. It's not up there, Dad. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Morgan thinks to his right. Stops. Shoots. Oh. <laughs> Morgan falls to the floor. Injures his groin. <laughs> Dies. Gregory, I really don't think you should be playing basketball in the house. Give me a shot. Is this cool? Uncle Jim bought it for me. Oh, yeah. Good old Uncle Jim. So I guess Mrs. Torkelson's upstairs getting... Ready for my date, Dorothy Jane? What do you think? Mm, still a little too light. Here, try Dusky Rose. So is Mr. Morgan home from the office yet? I don't know. Why? Oh, no reason. Just curious about where he's going to take her after the game. That's all. Dad, you're not going to get weird on me, are you? You're not going to follow them around in dark sunglasses or a trench coat or anything. Oh, come on, Gregory. Why would I do that? I don't know. Just sometimes I see you looking at Mrs. Torkelson, and I think... That you're feeling more than you let on, or 
Maybe even more than you know. <laughs> that is ridiculous, Dorothy Jane. I, I like Mr. Morgan. He's a, a nice man, but that's all. He's my boss. Nothing more than... A friend. That's why I'm a little concerned about her getting serious about someone like Jim. Dad, she's had one day with him. Yeah, and tonight it's two, and tomorrow night it's three, and pretty soon he breaks her heart when he runs off with the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. <laughs> Whoa, you know, you sound a little... Jealous? Don't be ridiculous. All I said is Mr. Morgan has lots of female friends, that's all. Well, he is nice looking. I guess. In a L.A. law sort of way. In a little house on the prairie kind of way. <laughs> so you admit you find her attractive? Gregory, I do have eyes, but there's absolutely nothing. Between us, Dorothy Jane, that man is the most... Stubborn. Conceited. Obstinate. Insensitive. Irritating man I've, I've ever, ever met. met. I got it! Hi, oh, hey, Mr. Morgan. How you doing, Chucky Lee? Is your mama ready? Almost, sir. Sir? Mr. Morgan, whoa, I feel like I'm back in the army. <laughs> you were never in the army. Oh, no. I'm having a flashback to someone else's life. <laughs> Hand that ball, let me have it. Who? <laughs> Lucky shot, Slick. Uh, I don't think so, old timer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Chuck, we don't want to be around here when they get like this, so... Let's see, we grab a brewski, soft drink ski, and sit this one out. You got it. <laughs> Ow, you slapped me. Oh, come on, I barely touched you. No, see, now if I was going to slap you, I'd have done this. <laughs> so where are you and Mrs. Torkelson going after the game? Oh, just, just the usual, you know, mm -hmm. dinner, dancing, motel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was kidding. Gee, you used to have a sense of humor. Yeah. And you used to be funny. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's the deal here, bro? I thought you said you had nothing going with Millicent. And I don't. Great. Because maybe I want to. Come on, you're not right for her. Well, why don't we let her be the judge of that? Because you're just going to do what you always do, and I don't want to see her get hurt. Yeah, well, maybe I won't this time. I've never known a woman like Millicent. You've never known a woman who wasn't holding a pom-pom. <laughs> You don't have any claim on her. Now, if I want to date that woman, I'll do it. Want to bet? What'd you have in mind? One game, ten points. If you win, you can date Mrs. Torkelson with my blessing. You lose, you walk away. Mm, I don't know. She'd be an awfully hard woman to walk away from. Well, that's the bet. Take it or leave it. You're on. Home court advantage! <laughs> What are they doing? They're playing for Mama. Go, Uncle Jim, you can do it. Get him. Hey, Dad, how about you and me against Chucky Lee and Uncle Jim? Not this game, son. This is between me and Uncle Jim. Mr. Morgan, Mama said she'll be down in 30 seconds. 30 seconds left in the game. That's all the time I need. That's what I've heard. You dirty <laughs> dog. Come on, come on, make it. Get me. Get me. Look a little tired there, bro. What, do we need to take a break? Let you get some oxygen? Maybe a walker? Sorry, I couldn't understand you. You're panting too loud. <laughs> All right, Dad, you're up by two. Don't blow it. Hey, hey, who got you this game? Nail him, Uncle Jim. <laughs> Ten seconds. Oh. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Oh, four. hi, Millicent. Sucker. Three, <laughs> two, one. It's over. What are you oh, come on, you're crazy. That was a foul. You're not going to call a little thing like that, are you? A little thing? I thought I was going to have to have you surgically removed. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you can't practically kill a guy and get away with it. This isn't hockey. Yeah, Daddy, that was pretty low. I'm afraid it was, Mr. Morgan. All right, all right, take your foul shots. Huh? And I'm still up by two. You got to make both shots. Piece of cake. Uh oh, I forgot to sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you sing. Do you mind? I'm winning a game here. Woo! 
What, no insult, no wisecracks, no medley of patriotic songs? Gee, aren't you even going to try to rattle me? Just shoot it, okay? Okay, now this is it. If I get this, it's a tie, we go into overtime. Could have made that shot. <laughs> well, I guess we know who the winner is here. Yeah. No, I just couldn't overcome that home court advantage. Well, kids, it's been fun. Be good. Oh, what the heck? Be yourselves. Uh, no, listen, listen, uh, I'm sorry. I got an emergency call from L.A. I've, I've got to get back. An emergency? Yeah, uh... Tommy Lasorda's locked himself in a room full of pasta and he's threatening to eat his way out. I really ought to be there. Well, just so it's important. Really nice to meet you, Millicent Torkelson. Likewise. Yeah. Hey. Play a good game, little brother. Well, maybe the better man won. <laughs> Would someone care to tell me what's been going on down here? Mr. Morgan won you, Mama. <laughs> what? And Mary Sue, that's not exactly what... Mr. Morgan, could I see you in the kitchen, please? Ooh. Somebody's gonna get it. <laughs> you won me. Well, I just... You won me. Look, we were just having a friendly game of Nerf basketball. Was there or was there not some kind of bet where you won me? To find Beth. How dare you? You have no right to run Jim off. I will decide who I go out with. I was just trying to help. I was afraid you were going to get hurt. I mean, you're not the type of woman he usually dates. If it were any of your business, which it is not, I would be the first to tell you that in order for me to get hurt, I would have to have some feelings for Jim. Yeah, well, you seemed to be feeling plenty for him when you were kissing him in the living room. You were spying on us? Hey, this is my house. It wasn't spying. It was just being up. That still does not give you a right to spy on me. Well, excuse me for being concerned. Well, excuse me for having a life. Well, excuse me for kissing you. Well... Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Shoot some hoops. Huh? Hoops, ball, in the hoop. Nothing? 